next thing we'll see some configuration overview of the zone based firewall now majorly in zone based firewall the first thing what we'll do is we are going to create some zones as i said a more like a name if a name if configuration on the asa firewalls we need to define some names uh, like lan and then internet and then some kind of dmz some names and then we need to associate these uh, typically we call them as security zones any logical names we can use and then we need to associate these zones the security zones to the interfaces now once we associate these uh, specific interfaces to the zones now by default the traffic between these zones is blocked so once the, so there is no higher lower levels here so by default all the traffic between any zone to any zone like going from lan to internet will be by default denied so the first step we create the security zones and then we assign them to the interfaces now the next thing is we need to define what traffic you want to allow like take an example i want to make sure that the user sitting in my lan should be able to access all the http traffic as well as ftp traffic or maybe some kind of icmp traffic so the first step is we need to classify the traffic now classification is done with the help of some class maps so we can write some acls if you want to specifically match uh, saying that i want to match the traffic coming from one dot network going to any destination if it is equal to http or ftp or icmp like that so we need to classify the traffic and this is done with the help of class maps uh, more similar to the class maps what we did in the in the basic configurations uh, in the asa class maps or even in the control plane policing i discussed that so it will be similar to that one and once you define what traffic you want to allow then we need to uh, configure some policy map now in the policy map we are going to tell what action you want to take now generally we have multiple options to define like we can simply say pass uh, drop or we can even say something like inspect now generally we use an option of inspect inspect ensures that your traffic is allowed at the same time return traffic is also allowed by default automatically if i simply say pass it means just allow but it will not be able to keep a track of the return traffic drop you can also drop specific traffic moving between the databases so uh, by default anyway the traffic is dropped uh, denied so we don't need to specify drop anything uh, matching any any traffic matching uh, not matching the particular policy map will be automatically dropped now finally we need to associate this policy map to the interfaces so we need to tell the direction we need to that, that's what we call as creating zone pairing in the zone pairing we will will configure a zone pair saying that if the traffic is coming from source lan and if it is going to this security zone like internet apply this policy so the overall configuration in the zone based firewall based on based on these steps so as we as we progress with the configurations in the later on sections we will we'll see uh, with the configurations in the next videos